under pressure again though. Red spread. Already 27 behind. Well, he can get through to this red. This is a big shot. And again, his long game lets him down. Oh, hang on. Goodness me. Nearly fluked the red. Well, he was a little bit lucky not to leave O'Sullivan with one. Having made a mess of the safety shot, but... One. The rocket back in again. Not ideal position. Anthony Hamilton back at the table in that frame before their interval. Hamilton against Bingham on table two. Good pot from O'Sullivan from close to the cushion. Now does this red pass the Stop. other? Looks like it does. Plenty of room. Yes, Bingham was 30 plus in front in that four frame, a frame he surely has to win. Hamilton coming right back at him, just two points behind now. And now in front, Hamilton with two reds left, so a possibility 4 0 for the German Masters champion at the interval. We'll keep you posted. Coverage continues 14. on the player. Fifteen. Sullivan engineering a possible frame winning contribution here. Took an early bath at the World Grand Prix, losing to Neil Robertson 4-1, one of the best performances 20. from Robertson in recent times. He's had something of a barren run of late. And the Welsh Open was a surprise as well, because O'Sullivan was flying, leading Mark Davis 3-0, only to lose the last four frames. 24. Tremendously consistent this season. He's come very close to adding to that already very impressive tally of ranking titles. It's this to be his week. 30. If he continues to play like this, he'll take some stopping, that's for sure. Thirty one. Love to lift some silverware before the World Championship gets underway. Where he'll be looking to join Steve Davis and Ray Reardon on six titles. <laughs> Stephen Hendry, of course, still leading the way with seven. All one in the 90s. O'Sullivan's triumphs have been more spread out. The fascinations of surely the two greatest players of all time. Hendry's tremendous success condensed into a single decade, really. Whereas O'Sullivan's has spanned three. Another sizable break. Ruthlessly punishing the young Wimbo's mistakes. Sixty-one. Now, can he disturb the final red? Tremendous pot. And if he pots the blue, he can 
and make another century. Seventy-four. Oh, this really is vintage Ronnie O'Sullivan. Not much Leanne 79. can do about this. He did have a couple of opportunities that he missed before the interval. But he sat out the fourth frame and he sat Eighty out this three. one. Eighty-eight. Good shot required to keep hopes alive of another century, but in it goes, no problem at all. So this for century eight hundred and sixty-five and the forty-first of the season. One hundred. Absolutely brilliant from Ronnie O'Sullivan. This really is sensational snooker from the five times world champion as he extends his lead over Liang Wenbo and puts himself within a single frame of a place in the quarterfinals here in London. No, he leads Liang by four frames to one.